spit the drama, barely means nothing to me. I ride by and blow your brains out. Brains out. There's no time to cock it. No way to stop it when it is. Sucker, this shit rap, check my rap sheet I feed you to the rats with peanut butter on your feet 44 Bulldog, get money hot What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports Welcome to the fire line You get in line and you get lined up You understand me? Today's victim, my next target Are these kissing cousin meth heads out here in Tennessee I was gonna let it slide I was, but every now and again, when you know what I'm saying, when you, when you, when you the, when you're the type of individual that I am, and you know you got a short temper, and you prone to overreact, and you prone to catch a body, and sometimes the, the victim ain't deserve all that. So every now and again, Big Fist gotta sleep on it. Every now and again, Big Fist gotta take a step back and say, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't line them up. Maybe this person don't deserve what I'm going to give to him. Maybe I should chill. Sometimes I give it a day. Sometimes I give it a week. An uh, OG told me if you want to clap somebody, let it marinate for like a week, two weeks. And if you still want to clap that nigga, then go bang, bang. So I woke up this morning feeling dangerous and decided Tennessee needed to be dealt with. Because I did a video. Oh, what? what eight months ago when Julio Jones got traded. I did a video and I and I expressed my condolences to Julio Jones because I said he would never win a Super Bowl because he got traded to a sorry ass team being quarterbacked by Ryan Tannehill and that overrated disappointment who does nothing in the playoffs, Derrick Henry. That's what I said and I caught heat from that. Them kissing cousin meth heads in Tennessee said, I don't know anything about football. We were just in the AFC Championship game. Ryan Tannehill's better than Daniel Jones. And all this other stupid shit that people say to troll me. When all I said was sometime come playoffs, Ryan Tannehill was going to do what Ryan Tannehill does best, which is going to a damn shell. Derrick Henry was going to get boxed because in the playoffs, that's what he seems to do. Do y'all not remember the Ravens game last year? Y'all don't remember that, do you? He got boxed. Okay? He's not that good in the playoffs. He had like one good game in the playoffs. Now everybody think Derrick Henry is unstoppable in the playoffs. When's the last time a running back ever ran a team to a Super Bowl? I'll wait. When? 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 The closest you're going to get is Marshawn Lynch. Outside of Marshawn Lynch, what, 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 what we going to, ninth, to the 90s with Emmitt Smith? I got this huge sample size of running backs not getting shit done in the playoffs. It, but I'm crazy when I say Tennessee ain't going to do shit. You know what bothers me the most about the Titans? I was a Marcus Mariota fan. You know why I like Marcus Mariota? Because Marcus Mariota had upside, but he had bad coaching. I don't even remember the head coach of Marcus Mariota his first couple years in the league. All I remember is the Tennessee Brass hired some random, no-name, bozo, bum, bitch head coach that ruined Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota was getting it popping. He had Tajay Sharp. He had my man who, who, who played for the Jets right now. He had DeMarco Murray. My man had moments. Marcus Mariota was down 17 points to the Chiefs in a playoff game. He came back and won it. He threw a pass to himself. He threw a touchdown pass to himself. Marcus Mariota career could have blossomed. And what did y'all do? Y'all threw him in the trash for that bum ass dude in Miami who never won a playoff game. You dumped Mariota for Ryan Tannehill like it was Jameis for Tom Brady. Like it was Tebow for Peyton Manning. And look where it got you nowhere you paid him you paid Derrick Henry and you have done nothing you traded picks for Julio Jones you have done nothing you wasted money on clowning a year ago you have done nothing 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 <laughs> like, what, what, what I'm gonna do with this <laughs> How you, the Bengals gave you the game <laughs> The Bengals gave you the game. 
The Bengals pulled the Bengals in the third quarter and blew a 10-point lead in like three minutes. And what did Ryan Tannehill do? He said, hold my beer. He threw that dumb pick. It was a minute left. There's like a minute and a half left in the game. And this idiot Tannehill and this bigger idiot Coach Vrabel out here calling runs to Derrick Henry. Maybe you should have waited until you got a field goal range before you started calling run plays to Derrick Henry. Because because you decide to call run plays on a 40-yard line in a two-minute drill, now you're forced to make that bum Tannehill throw downfield. And what did Tannehill do the first chance he got to throw downfield? He threw a damn pick. And then one play later, Joe Burrow throws a 20-yard laser to Jamar Chase, and it's game. Because you stink. You stink. Ryan Tannehill stinks. The Tennessee Titans are a waste of my time. Eliminating Tom Brady from the playoffs. Eliminating Lamar Jackson from the playoffs. I will never forgive y'all for 2019 where y'all just did a whole bunch of bullshit and knocked off worthy quarterbacks. Don't nobody want to see Tennessee advance. Don't nobody want to watch y'all no playoff game. This is for all the Ravens fans who don't like you. This is for all the Jaguars and Texans and everybody else who don't like you. Dancing on the Ravens logo like you're good when you're not. And this is more importantly, this is for my sanity because I hate Tennessee. Because y'all let young Dolph get killed in Memphis. Fuck Tennessee. How y'all let young Dolph get killed in Memphis? I hate y'all. I hate Tennessee. Make me sick. The only thing I like in Tennessee is Young Dolph, Savannah Chrisley, Juicy J, and Project Pat. Everybody else in Tennessee can kiss my left butt cheek because Aaron Rodgers is currently kissing the right. I ain't got time, bro. Shout out to Joey B. You lost to the Bengals. You were the number one seed in the conference and you lost to the Bengals. You lost to the Bengals. I'm going to say it again. You were the number one seed in the conference, and you lost to the Bengals. You ain't shit. The draft that happened in Tennessee was trash. It was the wackest one of all time. Your fans disgust me. Okay? Y'all disgust me. I hate Tennessee. I'm never going to Tennessee. John Morant ain't shit. He going home in the first round. Okay? Everything in Tennessee is trash. Y'all ain't nothing but a bunch of kissing cousin meth heads who have nothing better to do than listen to trash ass Elvis and, and die. That's what y'all do. Y'all eat, cook meth, fuck your cousins, listen to Elvis and die. That's all y'all do in Tennessee. Y'all are a waste of a state. If I was the ruler, president, dictator, pharaoh, whatever you want to call me, if I was in charge of the country, I would sell y'all to Canada. Fuck y'all. Make me sick. Uh, anyway, with that being said, please come to the front, okay, in honor of Joe Burrow, I'm going to line you up with a cigar in my mouth, so come to the front, turn around, put a smile on your face, and take these fucking shots. <laughs>